Hello friends and welcome to Ariel's Twilight Years. How to be a really, really, really old model. Or am I a sex worker? When I first heard the expression sex worker, it was being used in relation to escorts uh, and then lap dancers. And it was a word that I think they were mostly using to describe themselves, if I remember correctly. It's a phrase that has gradually expanded in use over the last few years. And I first started realising that what I do for a living is seen by lots of people as sex work around the time I started doing OnlyFans. The first time I felt like a sex worker myself though was when I started shooting custom videos. And looking back, I think I'm probably wrong that I think working for professional photographers maybe isn't sex work, but working for an amateur who wants you to model the thing that he likes I think you could certainly argue that it's sex work because you are fulfilling their sexual desires. Now those desires might be more artistic than sexual or they might be a mixture or they might be more sexual than artistic. It's a little bit of a grey area where as a photographic model some of your shoots could feel very much like sex work and some of your shoots where you're showing the same amount of skin might feel absolutely not like sex work. So it wasn't until I started doing custom videos where I was producing stuff directly for a customer who would find that particular thing sexy that I realised, I guess this is unequivocally sex work. And this didn't bother me at all. But it did start to bother me when OnlyFans became popular enough that it started being written about in national newspapers, etc. I started finding this very judgmental group of photographers who were quite vocal about how much they disapproved of OnlyFans. I started seeing photographers writing on their profiles online that they wouldn't work with models who did OnlyFans. Now obviously there are many reasons for that. I think some of them were worried that models would be taking pictures from the shoot and putting them up on their OnlyFans, which would obviously be incredibly unethical. But I did find it quite startling how morally judgmental some photographers and indeed some people were about models shooting only fans. And this is why when you as a model pose for a photographer who then sells the pictures, they are generally being sold to be used in an erotic context. They're generally being shot in order to turn people on. Now, the content of those images might be incredibly softcore or incredibly hardcore. You might not even be naked. But in the field that I'm in, the use of most of these pictures is going to be for the creation of arousal in the customer. So my feeling is that photographic modelling generally doesn't seem to be seen as sex work by people, but because only fans often involves the model photographing herself or filming herself and then selling directly to the customer through the platform, that is something that people often think is sex work. Now, that may be the case, but if it's the case, the photographers who photograph us naked and then sell the images, they're sex workers too. So all the webmasters who run pay sites, all the photographers who sell to pay sites, how can you say that you're not a sex worker if you think that the models photographing themselves and selling to customers are? Now, that's fine if you don't think sex work is a problem, but if you're judging models for doing it, then I think it's worth considering to yourself that perhaps from the outside, you would be seen as every bit as much of a sex worker as the model. And if you're a photographer who photographs sexual or nude or fetish images, and you're not selling, on to anyone if you're purely an amateur. Well, maybe that doesn't make you a sex worker, but it means you're using the services of a sex worker because you're the customer for the content that you're creating. So if you're inclined to be judgmental of the models photographing themselves for OnlyFans, then you probably need to reserve some of that judgment for yourself, or you need to relax, change your attitude to sex work and embrace it or stop photographing naked models. So my opinion is that when I'm shooting sexual stuff to sell to my customers, I'm a sex worker. And my opinion is the photographers who do the same thing are also sex workers. But if that's true, then what are the makeup artists who work on porn sets? 
Are they sex workers too? I mean, you could certainly argue they are. What about the writers of erotica? Are they sex workers? The material is intended to arouse. They're providing an erotic experience. What about any Hollywood star who does a lingerie shoot? Are they suddenly a sex worker? I think you could certainly argue that in that context, they are. It doesn't mean they're only a sex worker. And if the models who are photographing themselves for OnlyFans or filming themselves for custom videos are sex workers, what about the people at the top of those platforms and organisations? Are the people who run OnlyFans sex workers? The people who run Clips for Sale and many vids, are they sex workers? They're certainly in the sex industry. And why is the stigma so much reserved for the people in front of the camera when perhaps it should be shared by everyone behind or in front of the camera? Or perhaps we should start to erase that shame because you might say, what does it matter? But I've noticed in the last year, because I've been more public about my work, that lots of people do have a problem with it. Now, I don't feel bad about being a sex worker because, as I've said, I feel like I'm in really good company with a lot of performers I have a lot of respect for, but also a lot of people behind the camera and behind the platforms as well. But there is clearly still a horrible stigma. I saw it myself when I had a piece of writing published in a mainstream publication from the comments and messages I got as a result, I could see that this stigma is alive and well. I often exist in a happy little liberal bubble and it was interesting to see firsthand what exists outside it. So if you, like me, work at least sometimes in sex work, I'd like to bring some words of comfort and encouragement in case you sometimes worry about how people will think of you. So I'm going to go through now a few of the things that people have said to me and to other sex workers online, the, the most common things that I hear, and I'm going to share what I think about them. First of all, something I've seen a lot of online since I have been going looking to research this, I see people saying things like, oh, she's just a sex worker, she's a worthless sex worker, she's a worthless whore, this kind of language. And I think just because you're a sex worker, it doesn't mean you're only a sex worker. There's no such thing as just a sex worker. I don't think any of us do nothing but sex work because even I, and I, I do some very sexual stuff, I, I do some modeling that's nothing to do with sex at all. It's for publications that aren't meant to be erotic in any way. Uh, and I, I think that's very much the case for almost all of us, I would guess. Even on my OnlyFans, by no means is all the content erotic in any way whatsoever. And even if all you do is shoot for custom videos or OnlyFans or whatever it is for you, your work can be pornographic but artistic at the same time. Or perhaps your sex work is also photographic modelling, for a lot of us that's the case. Or it's photography because most of us are taking our own pictures and video, or it's video editing. So don't let anyone ever tell you you're nothing but a sex worker. Being a sex worker and nothing but would be fine, it would be enough, but I very much doubt if you're doing any of the things that I'm doing in my field, I very much doubt that you're just a sex worker because you really can't be when you're earning money from one of these big platforms. You have to be a lot more than just sexy. Another thing I hear a lot of is you work with your body and it's said as though that's a bad thing. And I would say to counter that, yes, I do work with my body like an athlete does or like a builder or a plumber or a painter. But I don't just work with my body any more than an athlete does or a painter does or a builder or a plumber do. We all need to engage our brains too in order to be able to do a good job. It's a ridiculous non-argument and frankly I think it's pathetic. You're exploiting people. That's another popular one. Oh, you just exploit people. I mean, sure, I exploit people's desire to have their sexual urges met. Just like a food shop exploits people's need to eat, or a clothes designer exploits people's need to be clothed, or a pharmaceutical company exploits people's desire to find pain relief. If business isn't exploiting other people's wants and needs, then what is it? And sex work is just like any other business in that regard, and to downplay people's sexual needs is, in my eyes, extremely foolish. 
<laughs> this was probably one of the stupider things I've heard said and it was said to me. Oh, you're just a drug dealer. His argument, I think, is because porn makes people feel good the way drugs make people feel good. Basically, my job is just as bad as being a drug dealer. But then I thought, it's not just porn that makes people feel temporarily good. Porn certainly does do that, but so does all entertainment, all of Hollywood, all of television, all of music. If it's not about making people temporarily feel good, then what the fuck is it about? That's what entertainment's for. It's for taking us out of ourselves, making us see the world briefly through different eyes, and what's a James Bond film for? To make people feel good. That's what entertainment does and that's what porn does because pornography is part of entertainment. And probably the most popular comment I have seen is that sex work isn't real work. What does this mean? What does it mean? I earn real money. I pay real tax. I hire real accountants. I have real contractual obligations to my customers. I have real long-term goals and an exit strategy. There is nothing about sex work and modeling that isn't real. I think when people say it's not real, they mean one of two things. One, it's too nice to be real. And yeah, I can't deny it. it's a nice job, but there are very unpleasant parts of it. For example, dealing with twits like this. And two, I think they mean that it doesn't contribute to society because it's not the same as being, oh gosh, someone said to me, it's not as good as being a paediatrician. I mean, I would say it probably isn't as good as being a paediatrician. Uh, uh, being a paediatrician seems like a very impressive thing that I couldn't possibly do. I don't have the skills and I could not possibly have acquired the skills because I've got dyscalculia apart from anything else. I'd be giving your child the wrong doses of drugs because I can't read numbers under pressure. And I can see that my job maybe doesn't seem as vital to society as being a paediatrician. But the fact is, even if you don't see the point of porn and you don't see the benefit of it at all, at the very least, I am paying enough tax to pay the wages of more than one nurse a year now and a lot of my colleagues are doing the same. We're in well-paid jobs and so we're paying a lot of tax and even if that's the only contribution we make it's worthwhile. And now I come on to the, the things that women seem to say to try to shame sex workers as opposed to men. Most of the comments I've been talking about up to now were said to me and my colleagues by men. But these comments are said by men and women. You're ruining your future. Quite often they mean future prospects. They're talking about our chances of employment later in life. What I would like to say to people who think like that is, well, that's in your hands, not mine. I'm just doing my job. If people like you continue to be judgmental, then yeah, I suppose it could affect my future job prospects. But if you're prepared to let go of your judgment and discrimination, then it won't have any effect. If everyone is non-judgmental, I'll be able to do whatever the fuck I want in the future, including working in a bank or working in a school. The problem, I would say to you, is people like you, not people like me. And furthermore, I generally see this said to very successful performers, and I think it often comes from jealousy and resentment. And I would say, when you say this to these incredibly successful performers, has it not occurred to you that they probably are never going to need an employer. They're probably going to carry on working for themselves because they've made it work pretty well so far and they can take all those transferable skills that you don't think they have, marketing, PR, caring for people, running your own schedule, running your own accounts. You can take all those skills and you can apply them to another choice of self-employment. And that's what many ex-models in my acquaintance have done. They're not necessarily going to be begging for a job with HSBC when they retire from modelling. It always seems like an incredibly innocent, naive way of seeing the world that someone who's successful and self-employed at 30 maybe is not going to need to be employed by a big company when they're 40. They might still be a model when they're 40. Imagine that. And finally, oh God, this is horrible. Your kids will be so ashamed of you. I mean, maybe, but maybe if we bring them up to be open-minded, they won't have any of the preconceptions that you seem to have about sex workers being invalid and not useful to society. And also, I cannot help but notice that I'm in one of the very few professions where it 
really, really pays to be a woman. We can earn really well if we're successful in this in a way that actually women still don't in a lot of other more traditional professions. Now, it's interesting in contrast, when you look at fashion modelling, unless you get famous, you don't make much money. I was a fashion model and I know I was never a famous fashion model and so I was being expected to do a lot of work for free, including catwalk, because it was, oh, it's good exposure and it's good for your agency. Now that's not the case in sex work and in the sexy side of the model industry. You're not really expected to work for free and it's not just famous people who make a lot of money. And what's the difference, I wonder to myself, between nude modelling and fashion modelling? Well, a large part of the difference is the stigma. There's not much stigma associated with fashion modelling. In fact, it's seen as a very aspirational profession by a lot of people, whereas sex work, not so much. So actually, a lot of women who could be successful in it are scared off by the stigma, which means that the women who do dare to do it, like me, it's really a question of who dares wins or <laughs> who bears wins. Because if you're strong enough to cope with the slut shaming and people assuming you'll be a terrible mother, you might well reap the financial rewards because there is a limited supply of people who are brave enough to get naked and show their sexuality on camera. And there's an almost unlimited demand for that. So all of that means that the people who try to shame us are actually contributing to a culture where we are financially rewarded. Their shaming is part of the reason that we deal with less competition working as glamour models and nude models than we would in fashion modelling. And that pays literal dividends. So I'd like to leave you with my thought for the day, which is that the people who stigmatise us play their part in making us rich. So you can play your part by being a respectful consumer, which we love, or you can play a part by judging us and treating us badly on social media. And we won't be so keen on you, but both those sides contribute to the reason that we are getting rich. Thank you so much for joining me. This was disagreeable. I just, I had a lot of these comments that I'd seen a lot of and They've been sort of piling up in my mind and I thought I really want to talk about them. Not because I'll change any massive troll's mind, but I hope I might give some comfort to models and sex workers who deal with these sort of comments day in and day out. Uh, because the chances are you're doing a bloody awesome job, not just at sex work, but at life. And you should be proud and you shouldn't be ashamed. And if my video can do some small part in making you feel pride, and no shame, then I will be very happy. Thank you and goodbye. Goodbye now. Bye bye now. <laughs>